take them gradually, don't buy them all at once. Unless you are very into the game. Uh, it took me uh, three or four sales to actually get all the DLC up, uh, up until the latest. And I have all the uh, DLC for year four. And, uh, but even the last one, the latest DLC, I did not uh, buy. I, bu I bought it outside. I normally buy the new DLCs. Uh, outside of sales because I want to play on them, but the last one I didn't because I just didn't like it. I didn't like the content of it, so I didn't get it until it was on sale. And uh, I recommend the same thing for anyone who wants to do it. There are a couple of DLCs that you kind of need, but still, um, don't get them outside of a sale. It's worth waiting. Uh, because they the, the, the sales are so deep. Um, the sales on the older DLCs are down to 70, so high as 70%. It is worth to wait for that. And at that time, at that point, um, I mean, guess they still get money, a um, like a sum money because of the sales. So, but still, it kind of puts a big barrier on entry because uh, you, you, the new players, including myself when I saw it, you just see this big list of DLC and this big price tag at the bottom. Um, so I really think that they should do that in order to lower the ceiling to get new players in because I believe that... Um, more people are interested in playing it but see this big wall of DLC. I believe that to be true. Because the community for the game is kind of big. And uh, like I would recommend EU4 to anyone who's, who is interested in strategy games. Uh, and I would do that if it weren't for that enormous amount of DLC you need. Well, you can. The, the enormous amount of DLC that you have to pay for. Um. So, and in that case, I think it would be fair to say, save the whole game with the, 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 the game with its latest DLC and everything else should cost round about, say it's like round about six, 60 to 70 do euros or dollars. And uh, just think of the amount of players that you can get in from that. Um, and have uh, like, all the DLC discounted to match that fact. But at the same time, I'm not an economist. This is just me looking at it and say, saying this is how I would love to see it done. But I don't know if this is actually a good way to do it. So, yeah. Okay, <laughs> let's see if Brad can tank it. Yeah, look at that! Now that she has some damage reduction on her to, uh, to thunder spells, she can take it. She can take it. Well, that said, though, I do still love you for it's a great game. Should almost be done with these two then.
Dragon's Breath. Uh, did we have anything else on Freya that we have to learn? Yes, we did. High jump. But we're looking good on that. But this cake isn't necessarily that it's you know cake and so big. The problem is the sugar. There's so much sugar. And when I have this much sugar, I need something salty to balance it. Which means that I need to take other things as well. So in this case I've got some uh, like small and they're called Vesta Button uh, crumbles here in Sweden. It's like a Butcher dough something with cheese. In this case, the Vesta Bottom cheese, which is a uh, cream cheese. Unless I'm mistaken, aged cream cheese. It's a really good cheese, but not on top of my list. Because otherwise, I could just get really, really nauseated. Sweetness is literally sickening. <laughs> I should save after this fight, just in case. I realize it's been quite a bit too long since I saved. That spell, or like ability rather. <clears throat> Let's put on white robe. I don't think we want to have rubber suit instead of a white robe. No, I do like the white robe more than the rubber suit. Also, rubber suit. Why? <laughs> Why name a armor a high level armor rubber suit? Could be a dev or a camp dead with some uh, kink or something there. <laughs> well, at least you think they have humor if nothing else. I mean, tin armor, which is the strongest armor a stainer can have. <laughs> Incoming spear. something about it. Okay, that's another one for, for Stainer. Should be getting... Um, okay, so we only have uh, the Klim Hazard left now. Oh, we have some other abilities, I guess. Maybe? maybe? Yes. Auto life. Uh, okay, let's just learn auto life. It's not something I really enjoy all that much, but hey. <clears throat> See, let's take on uh, 
Genji armor. More Genji armor. Double Dragon Mail. Yeah, let's go Maximilian. I don't think there's a better helmet. <clears throat> yeah, let's keep it like this. Oh, did I fix the weapon? I did. So, I want to show you the Klim, Klim Jazzer. Damage. <laughs> Loads of it. <clears throat> Spammer, thank you for joining us today. Ah, uh, yep. This is what we call a spammer. I've seen that. I'm gonna let it do its thing and then I'm gonna find it. Sir, huh? And also link uh, like with an eye to try to get around the you know, like box and stuff like that. Get down, go away. I don't appreciate these stupid spams like this. Hey, buy this shit from me. If I want to buy something like that, um, I'll, I'll find someone myself. And if they do it like they advertise themselves correctly when I look for them, then I might consider sort of buying their, their services. But there's also another problem with this one. Um, my sister, my younger sister, did my emotes and sub badges, and I'm very happy about the results. And I would much rather go to her and have her do my sub badges and my emotes because I really like her style of uh, the way she does them. So there you have it. <laughs> but that's me, um, of course. <sighs> But yes, uh, like if someone offers me like a genuine, uh, a genuine, make a genuine offer, I might consider it. But that is not a genuine offer. That's just a bot spamming channel. And uh, no. And in all honesty, um, I feel that is. I just feel it's really like, I don't trust that. Those who have to use bots like that to get attention, no. Like really, no. And they often appear in uh, like streams with 
a low little a few viewers so they're trying to like prey on those who have few viewers and uh, i don't there's another reason for you to not trust them Like, I'm very paranoid on the internet in that sense. Um, there are many things that I can do on the internet without a lot of problems, but when it comes to like business and stuff like that, doing transactions and buying services on the internet, I am super paranoid. And uh, yeah, I don't trust it. I really don't. Heck, that type of bot like there, right there, isn't even complicated. It is super easy to make those bots. Um, all you have to do is, like, take the category, like, you need to extract the category and the stream name and the username. Those three are the things you have to do, and then put a timer in between each message to just delay it. And every single one of them, I have. I think this is the 6th um, or 8th, somewhere in between there, that has been doing it while I've been streaming Final Fantasy. For all sorts of things, like banners, and like overlays, and emotes, stuff like that. It is the very same structure, they're just trying to sell a different thing. Every single time, but it's the same, like, it's always, hello, name, I've been looking at looking at your stream or profile or something like that stop next line look at my profile to do things blah 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 like uh, no and then finally that thing there was a link with an i with a with a one instead of an i is just an attempt to get around like the automatic many automatic um many automatic uh, mo um, moderating tools that are on Twitch. Because there are many bots you can configure it to like, moder uh, moderate and they will look for keywords like link and uh, yeah, used in a certain context unless you're mistaken. So all the things that the thing uh, told, uh, like, was ram ram rambling about, is something you can get from the Twitch API. Very easily. Okay, let's see, we have... Um who do I want to be target for death? And who do I want to be target for? I can start learning. Let's grab some eidolons now. Or do I want haste? No, I want eidolons. Let's do a Thomas. Long oh, I thought you had long reach by default. Well, 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 I'll go do that then. So we'll move this, move this, and 16. I do want to keep antibody.
I guess I cannot for the time being. Oh, that is uh, that is very. I really wonder how long reach for Freya. Freya becomes broken with long reach, but she becomes really strong because she can then re start relying on auto attacks. Uh, so, um, all the uh, items in this game have a certain ability that can grant a character. An ability or a skill, rather. And uh, those, they take a certain amount of uh, ability powers, point, ability points to learn. And, uh, like, Every, because every single item gives a unique set of abilities, you need to figure out how you want to progress those things. When it comes to the Eidolons, they are associated with a specific gem, and that gem alone. Uh, additionally, um, having multiples of this gem will increase that Eidolon's power when you summon it. So for instance, we have uh, 99 Topaz, which is the gem for summoning Ifrit. So we have as much power as we can get on Ifrit. That's my machine. Let's see. So uh, you can see, where is it? Um, Topaz there. And it's the same thing with every single one of these. So Shiva. And or Fenrir, let's upgrade with that. There's one exception, which is um, I think it's Ark. It's, it is one of the, uh, or maybe it's actually Odin that becomes more powerful the more ores you have, which are not listed here because it's not an item you can uh, pick up. So you can see the abilities that have been learned and the ones who we are still learning. So here we have we already have auto potion, but we don't have auto haste. You see the A down there, which is in the, which denotes an ability, which is kind of weird, I guess, and an S for skill. But the two of them are swapped, switched around for some reason. It's weird, but hey, that's how it is. Um, so the uh, no wait, uh, A for active and S for I guess some sort of passive uh, or something. I don't know. But that is how the system works. And every single mob you kill gives a certain amount of AP, which will go towards learning the abilities you uh, And the abilities have a, of course, different amount of um, points they require, and they can also they also vary from character to character. For instance, learning uh, ability up. For one character, uh, say it takes 30 points, but for another it takes 80 points. So it dif differs there as well. <clears throat> and there are also items in the game. So this is a this is a criticism I actually have of this game, but that's not more that's not of the system, but more about how things are locked out. Uh, there are items that become locked out once you progress to a part a certain point in the game, meaning that if you go past that point, you will not be able to get the skills that a uh, equip piece of equipment gives. Vivi is very susceptible to this. Uh, Vivi has a uh, staff, which is an octagon staff, or something like that, octa staff. And uh, it teaches him uh, the highest tier of the three elemental magics, which is Viraga, uh, Blissaga, and Pandaga. It is only available on, on, on Gaia before you go to Terra. So at, if you go to the disc 4 without getting it, you will never learn those three abilities in Vivi, which is a big problem. So that is a criticism I have, which I feel is very legit. And I believe that's more an oversight than anything else, because 
It's just that the vendors stopped bought selling them. It's weird. Well, the vendors become unavailable and aren't transferred to other places because there are vendors that most items are transferred to other vendors later so you can buy them, but not for these few items. So, yeah. <laughs> Oversight. And I get it. The game's huge. The game's massive. It's very easy to for something like that to happen. It is, however, something that should be caught in QA. Steiner also has one of these. Uh, the weapon that gives EI strike. I know this because the last time I played through this game, uh, I did not have EI strike on Steiner. I actually don't know what EI strike does. I know it what it does in real life, supposedly. Um, but I don't know what it does in this game. <laughs> so we learned something here. Well, not from him. Oh, I guess we got to try now. Uh, okay, I guess not then. Mm. A little bit more for this. I wish I could swap out um, Zidane for something else, or someone else, because I really don't need him. Except for the fact that I need him to steal, so there's that, I guess. However, let's see how much damage Dragon Crest does now, and also let's see what the ice strike is about. Okay, just knocks up the target. Sometimes it does it rather. So let's see how many dragons we've killed now. Oh, well, we have uh, some ways to go still. I will swap to another place once I've killed enough dragons. And I will be swapping out Freya when she has nothing more to learn. She doesn't need to be in the party while we're killing these dragons. Right? Which is good. I'll be swapping out her and Stainer. Um, I don't think I'll want to learn uh, Auto Life on Stainer. I actually don't really need Auto Life. I think the ability is kind of pointless. Um, because it only applies life once to the character. And I would much rather have, um, have, um, oh, we still have so much to go on Freya though. Um, so I'm just gonna learn, uh, Clint Hazard and swap Stainer out for someone else. Uh, don't I don't think Stainer's high enough level. Still have cake to eat. Still have cake to eat. I want to eat more cake. Let's also check the break. I mean, we still have a lot to go, but I... That's a lot of damage.